why did you start this journey? You started out as a model. So what was the transition? I was a model, as you said, and I got a lot of questions from young women and girls about body image, self-esteem, makeup, hair, you name it, fashion, travel, everything that would typically be associated with fashion and modeling. And I really enjoyed that, and I would give my time quite freely in sharing that. I didn't think that I would be this type of coach or sharing in this type of way, but my journey started to be this type of transformational leader, coach, as a came from a paradigm crash, a tragedy. Uh, One of my children died. As a result of that, I lost a lot of my self-confidence, my excellence. I really just couldn't make any decisions about anything. And if you can't make any good decisions, your life is going to reflect that. So after some years of kind of wallowing in self-pity, I wanted to get some help, and I searched around. I got all kinds of help, but the kind of help that really started to get me to get out of my head and into my life was transformational coaching. So that's kind of how I got into that. I didn't think I would be sharing it, but it was just something really good that I needed to share, and I did it. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a great story. So tell us, and I'm very sorry to hear about your son. Thank you. So tell us now, what is a transformational trainer? You get people to transform their thinking and their way of, well, your thinking controls almost everything, the way that you're feeling. If you're not feeling good in your mind, it's because of how you've been thinking. And so if you can get a person or if you can get yourself to change the way that you're thinking about things, about yourself, then those things will pretty much start to change. But before that, you're, the way that you feel about it is going to change. And so that's what's important, how we feel about things. So a transformational coach or trainer would get people to transform their viewpoints and their thinking, so to speak. Okay, that makes sense. And it's, and that is very powerful because it is, you know, whatever is held in your mind uh, reduces that. How does that relate into doing your self-branding, because your self-branding strategies? So how do those go hand in hand? If you're in branding yourself, most of the time we create our brand by default. We don't give it much thought, and we just kind of show up, and that's what people know us for. You know, we are not very intentional about it. So for the people that want to be intentional about branding, creating a certain image personally or professionally, you have to really know what it is that you want. Why are you doing this? What are you trying to accomplish? And then once you know that you want to be an international fashion model, that was my first career, once I realized that I had to be that, I had to show up as that. So an international model wears a certain type of clothes, she walks a certain way, she travels in certain places, in certain circles. So you just take all that on. And when people see you, they say, oh, that lady is a model, that girl is a model. And so you want people, you want George Ramani to come out and say, okay, yes, you fit the mold that I that I want. So that's knowing what I want, and I wanted George Armani to say that, and he did. And so if I'm going into corporate America, I want to fit the brand that they have. It's cultural as far as the culture of the company, or if a person is establishing their own identity as a company, what culture are you establishing? What do you want people to think about your brand, your personal brand, and then you, if you're representing your business, your brand goes with your business. So there are lots of questions. In my work, I ask a million questions to kind of get to the root of it with people to help them to get to that, and then we start the whole process. That makes sense. That's like A through Z. That really makes sense. As you're working as your brand, as a brand strategist, how does that relate? Because you also do the a celebrity style Teaching well, that's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same with the name celebrity style branding. It just kind of gives you a different picture in your head, you know. But basically, we're doing the same thing, and so we may take it a step further. You've got to show up and have a certain look. So that goes to that physical. Once we understand within ourselves, within ourselves, what it is that we want, 
what we're working toward, what we have to do, what kind of image we have to have, what does the brand have to say, then we're just going to make it put a little sparkle on it. That's how we, Tamara, make it a little celebrity style, put a little sparkle on it because you have to do your photo shoot. You may have to go do some videos for your company, for your new brand, and so that's how you celebritize it. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> So that will move us into your uh, your PEP system because that's where you get into the nitty-gritty of your executive training and coaching. So tell us about that system. I love the PEP system because it does a lot of work for me. It helps to, a person to understand really who they are in many different aspects of their life, like 12 to be exact. It's an innovative profiling tool that's based on 12 vital abilities that each person has, but we may not really understand it. And this tool is going to measure and give you a current view of how your thinking would be creating your life. The PEP does a lot of work for me because the person goes online and they answer 200 simple questions. There's no right, wrong, or good or bad answer. It's just your truth. And it comes back as a graph. And then a PEP coach, I would be a PEP coach, would analyze that graph for the individual or for the for the team. The team could be a family or it could be a corporate or it could be the government. It doesn't matter what team it is. And then you can see how each person is contributing to that team or to that family or to that group. And it really does get you on the right track. And it saves the coach a whole lot of time of, of going deeper into the person, spending hour after hour after hour where you can get right to it. And then once you get right to it, you can get to work. You can get to work on what it is that you say you want to accomplish. And how do you go about that? So let's say, you know, I want to do this for my family. What are my step-by-step, what do I have to do step-by-step to have that done? And kind of like what is the end result? Okay, great question. So you go to my website, ChloeTaylorBrown.com, and you click on Get Your Pep On, because what we want to do is get our pep on. And remember, the personal excellence profile is that's the pep. It's going to give you energy. It's going to be elevating your excellence. And you're going to be able to direct that excellence into whatever you say you want to accomplish. So the first step, you go to the website, you log on, and with that, you're going to take the PEP. There are 200 questions that you bubble in, yes, sometimes, or no. As I said, there's no right or wrong or good or bad answer. It's just how you view things. The second step is that when you submit it, you've answered those 200 questions, it comes directly back to me or your PEP coach. And then you will get an email saying, we have your PEP. Let's set up a time. It usually takes about 40 minutes to an hour, depending on the person, to debrief your PEP. It's going to really open your eyes to yourself so that you can really see yourself. And then after that debrief, you will have a manual that you can use on your own that's going to fully reinforce your PEP. Then... You'll have a week to 10 days to follow up with me or your pet coach for that follow-up, which is very valuable. And then at that time, a person could say, well, I want to go further. Many times people can stop right there because now they have the answers that were unknown to them, but now they know, and it's like a big aha moment where people can really create their own breakthroughs. Because the PEP really is a pathway to wholeness, and we all want to be whole. We're striving to be whole whether we know it or not. I believe you. I think that is um, when you talk about living authentically, that's what happens. You know, I want to be whole, balanced, and complete. And that is a journey itself. That is definitely a journey. So can you give us some questions on the PEP system, like just a few, a few of what are the questions you're asking? Do you have big goals and dreams? And the answer is yes, sometimes or no. You bubble in and you move to the second one. Can you give directions to other people? Yes, sometimes or no. Another one may be, do you skip over words that you don't understand when you're reading? Yes, sometimes or no. So the questions are not difficult questions at all, but when it comes back and grafted, 
we are analyzing the pet and giving you the information and sharing with you how your viewpoints are creating your life. We're going to show you what you have to do to break through, to go further. We're not going to leave you just with that. That's the beautiful thing about the PEP. You can see right on your graph what you need to do or the steps that you'll need to take to go higher, to accomplish more of what you want to accomplish. So with the system, do you have clients that just, you know, like just like a life member or they just say, okay, um, it's been six months and I think I've gotten what I, you know, what I needed. How does the process kind of end? Like, are you continuously coaching? If a person chooses after they've taken the PEP that they want to go a little bit farther into the PEP system, then they can choose to be coached in this three-month series. A year would be a great time to be coached and mentored and and uh, going higher or even creating something new and wonderful. Uh, but some people can get what they need in three months. Some people get what they need in six. The typical time would be about six months. There are some trailblazers that can get it in three months, and they become superstar rock stars. And then some people have gone for a year, especially within corporate America, and then they may have completed that, and then their person after their review They'll say, well, I want you to work with Chloe again, maybe on, you know, one of the other abilities that they weren't working on. Or maybe you're going to a higher level now and I want you to, they may say, I want you to work on your image specifically. So it just depends on what they're working toward and what we're working on. Now, you do some wonderful work with young women. So I definitely want to talk about what is girl swag. Oh, wow, Maria, that is my heart. I love Girl Swag, and Girl Swag is is born and raised and reared up with me as a young girl growing up in Mississippi with three little sisters and our mother being killed in a car accident when I was 13. I believe that based on who I am even before that in my birth order, that I must have been kind of a Girl Swaggy kind of big sister before my mother died when I was 13. When my mother died, we all went to live with my grandmother, and I was responsible for helping my little sisters with doing their hair and picking out their clothes and encouraging them. So it's kind of a natural uh, progression coupled with me being that model that I was telling you about and young women and girls and their mothers, you know, having a, a kind of attraction to me. And so it just kind of always kind of been a part of my life. And I always like volunteering and sharing my time with young women and organizations. So because I have such a love for it, once I became an author and a coach, I was encouraged to create a curriculum. But once the psychologist proposed this to me, and then she said, and you could use your pep, I thought, wow. And that's how we got Girl Swag. And I just love it. I really do. Well, and I was listening to... um some of the young women in their in video on their videos and they were very impressive. I see the young women and they've done well. Uh what is what is their journey? Where do they go uh once they leave Girl Swag? Or do you always just stay in Girl Swag? Which I love the name Girl Swag. <laughs> swag is not about swagger like you would think today. It's a combination of that. It's about the flow because swag is about the fabric and usually that's taught me how to sew, and then I learned about the flow of fabric when I was a model and majoring in fashion. And then when a girl walks, she has her flow, and then swagger, the real meaning of swagger means your stride and your walk. I want people to know that this is just not something that was just made up. It was well thought out. They do sometimes come back to work with me. For instance, a young lady now, she's maybe 29 now, she travels with me. Uh, She goes to uh, weekend retreats or maybe even she speaks at my conferences to share her story and her transformation. There's a seventh grade girl now that I met last year. She was in a 12-week workshop with us, and now she's working with us. She's a spokesperson. So it's so cool after you gather this and gain this information and put it into your life that you want to just kind of hang around it, but you can go off. Most girls go off and they they put into their life what they created through the Girl Swag curriculum. 
Mm, that is powerful. That really is. Now, what is the age group for the girls? It starts with middle school. For instance, Angela Amador, who is my seventh grade spokesperson now, she started last year in the sixth grade. So it starts in sixth grade, and it goes all the way through college. Oh, and okay. after college, you go more into the coaching program. Girls that are, you know, 25, 26 and older, they will go more into the PEP and the coaching. So the girl swag is for middle school through college. Now, you are an author, and so I wanted to talk about the process of doing this book, why you did the book, the process, and what's coming after that. Okay. Well, with Girl Swag, this is my third published book, and it was quite different from the first published book. When I decided I wanted to create this as a curriculum, I used the foundation of the PEP. So the PEP is the 12 vital abilities that we all use to make our life work, starting with our ability to value ourselves. In the Girl Swag curriculum, that first chapter would be adore your authenticity, and that's all about valuing yourself. The second chapter is about trusting your gut. On the PEP, it's called your ability to perceive. So the 12 chapters of the Girl Swag book follows the 12 vital abilities of the PEP. So it is a step-by-step process of getting higher and higher in your own life. So the girls are literally designing and creating their own life. And between each chapter, they're encouraged to go put into their real life what they have created in the workbook. And this is why it is extraordinary. This is why... Every girl needs her own copy of the Girl Swag Curriculum Workbook. Every young woman needs her own copy of the Girl Swag Curriculum Workbook because every chapter has been mastered. And when you put all the pieces that have been mastered together, you get a masterpiece. And when the girl works the workbook, she comes out with a masterpiece that she can put, call her life, that she's mastering her life. It's extraordinary, and I'm getting so excited just telling you about it. Well, I'm glad that you're telling us about <laughs> that because um, you know, going through through that, I was like, well, this is a, a transformational, definitely um, part of your, your life. It is something that I think – so it takes us a while sometimes to live authentically, We may or may not know what that means to us, but once you kind of get in your your stride, well, to me, I think it's a lifestyle lifestyle journey. Um, Yes. It's something, you know, that you keep working with, consistent. I have to say for myself, being consistent on uh, what you say and what you do to kind of make that manifest into your, your life and your goals. So I could see how this is so powerful for a young woman uh, especially since, you know, with our young women today, we're, you know, we're looking at bullying, we're looking at the low self-esteem, you know, we're looking at poverty. There is so much to kind of um, just kind of, you know, put a, a wrench into what you think you want to do and what you think you can be. Right. And, and you know what, the beauty of this is that, When you have that, when you have determined that ideal for yourself and you have this process with you that you know that you know that you can make this happen, it gives you such energy and power that becomes so alluring and attractive that all the things that you need and want just start coming to you. And then also that's just as important, a young woman, a girl, a woman has the ability now to say no with confidence and conviction to the things that are not important or germane to her new determined ideal. It it really does give a young woman such power and confidence to be the leader, to be great mothers, to be great wives and great sisters and friends. It's, It's really wonderful. Wow, I mean, it's it's exciting. I, I was excited to hear about that, and um, because working, you know, with with young girls uh, is a little bit more challenging today. So you also have the women and girls radio, 
and of course I I listened to an episode and loved the conversation you were having. Your daughter uh, was on that conversation, and um, and I thought she's very interesting. So tell us about uh, Women and Girl Radio. The Chloe Show is about mentoring women and girls around the world, and we're doing that via radio, and we're sharing with our listeners and, and fans and people that want to hear what we have to say, we're sharing other women and girls with them and their stories and how they're doing what they're doing. Because a lot of times we don't have the exposure or we don't know anyone that could be doing something similar to what we're doing. Or you may want to take something a little bit from this person, a little bit from that person, and then wrap your personality around that and the things that you know for sure. So in sharing these women and girls from around the world, it just inspires me. It inspires the other people. And it also supports the other women and girls in their endeavors and their businesses. So it's a platform for me to share what I'm doing and share what other women are doing. It's also progressive. It's entertaining. And it's right now radio. It's positive. It's fun to do, and I get to do it with my daughter, and she is very interesting. Uh, (laughs) She's my only daughter, and I love the fact fact that we're working together because I used to think that she didn't like me. I knew that she loved me. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So I'm so happy that she thinks I'm cool, and, and not that she's just doing this for me. She would never have done it just for me if she didn't want to, but I love the fact that she sees herself in this and that she wants to, to be uh, a co-host and part of it. So I feel really blessed right now. I really do. That's wonderful for someone, because you really do need different age groups to uh, kind of say, okay, this is kind of working, this isn't kind of working, and definitely now you really do have to be hip. <laughs> 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 you know, to get a young person to listen to you, you know, a child. And now, how can people listen to the show? You can find uh, all the details on my website, ChloeTaylorBrown.com, and you can go to the top and click on the tab that says The Chloe Show. The show is every Wednesday from 2 to 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can log on or you can call call into the show. And that link is on my website as well as the phone number. Now, I know that you're going to keep working, doing what you're doing, but kind of what's the next step for for Chloe Taylor Brown Enterprises and what you're doing with Pep and the Girl Swag? Well, just back in November, I decided that I wanted to to pay more attention to myself. I feel that I've spent a lot of time making a transition from when my son died, and that's, that has been a long time, but I can tell you that, that took a lot out of me, and I really didn't know who I was, and so I, I found out who I am and what I'm made of and how strong I am, and that's really great. So I created this whole new setup for myself, and it's been wonderful of coaching and sharing and training, but I want to now get more back to myself and what I love, and so if I could take all those things that I've been doing to be this is what Chloe truly, truly loves, and then it would be the Chloe Initiative. And the Chloe Initiative would be about girl swag and empowering young women and girls. It would be the radio show working with women and young women and girls, and that's the Chloe Initiative. And just me showing up with the books that I've written and all the work that I've done over these last, it's been a long it's been very difficult. It's been very challenging, really hard. I can't say this has been easy at all. And so now I just want to get back to myself and focus on myself and do what I really, really love and what I believe I'm called to do. So you'll see more of the radio show. You'll see more of me hosting events for young women and girls. You'll see me writing more for young women and girls, mentoring young women and girls, and just doing more fun things. Uh, how can people reach you? Twitter, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn? You can reach me on Facebook at Chloe Taylor Brown, LinkedIn, Chloe Taylor Brown, Instagram, Chloe Taylor Brown, Pinterest, Chloe Taylor Brown, Tumblr, Chloe Taylor Brown, and also at Chloe T. 
Denise Brown on Twitter. So I'm excited. Um, you know, I love your post on Facebook and your post on uh, Instagram. <laughs> and so they're very uplifting, very oh, uplifting. Oh, thank you. I, I enjoy those uh, a lot. If I could say one last thing, I want to say that the Chloe Initiative has come about because I'm always starting something, initiating something. And as you can set, see that we have covered a lot, but now I want to bring everything back into what I believe God is calling me. And the Chloe Initiative is a global campaign for the elevation and expansion of women and girls around the world. Right now, I feel like I want to do that for the rest of my life. And so now I want to set myself up. I believe that I've been working so hard in my transition. And I know that if my son, Justin, had not been born to me and I've been his mother and that he died uh, at age right before his fourth birthday, I know that I wouldn't have had the fortitude or even the courage to dig as deep as I've been digging for my own transformation and and now to be able to share that. And, and I'm so happy because God gave this to me, and it really does work, and I love sharing it. So that's what I'd like to leave everyone with is to, you know, really just believe in yourself and no matter what happens, that there's always a plan for you. There really is. Mm, power in those words, and you are a blessing to women and girls all around the globe. So thank you, Chloe Taylor-Brown, for being on the Stroke Diva Fabulous show. You were someone that was on the top of my list. <laughs> thank you so much for, for having me. And knowing that, I feel so appreciated, and I really appreciate you for what you're doing and what you stand for and, all, and everything that you've been contributing also. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. That means a lot. So, again, thank you, everyone. For me, <laughs> as well as for my my guest, Chloe Taylor Brown. Thank you.